Hey what's up guys, it's Austin here and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool clutch update between my Blade Clown Female and my Orange Dream Fire Butter Ultramel Male. So some really cool double head Ultramel Clowns, hopefully we're really female heavy. Before we get into that, huge shout out to Eden Morphs. Thank you so much for this really cool shirt. I really appreciate it. Go and check them out. I'm going to go get the parents out for you guys and we'll get straight into the update. So right here's the mom and this is a blade clown female and what blade does to clown is it really reduces the pattern as you're seeing over here cleans up all the sides and gives you this really nice reduced back pattern and if you look at the head they often have really cool head stamps on them it's gonna be a little bit hard to go and show you that that I do not have a camera guy here today but hopefully in the future I do this female has been eating really well after laying and she's just looking amazing hopefully next year she'll give me another clutch I only had five eggs in the clutch because it was a first year female and she was a little bit small but four eggs made it to term, one egg molded out a little bit in there, I think you guys can remember from the egg cutting and the male actually is right over here, he's being paired at the moment but isn't locking. This is an orange dream, fire butter ultra male and this guy is just insane looking, he has all this really cool chaining by the neck. It's kind of pretty hard to show you guys, but you guys can get an example of it right there. And then he has the orange dream drags along the tail. It's just a really cool Ultramel and I can't wait to see what double heads we make because Ultramel Clown is something I'm definitely striving for and hopefully we hit it soon. So let's get right into the update. So right here is the clutch. We have four babies and I'm going to start off with this one right over here. This is a fire double head Ultramel Clown and you can tell it's a fire by the head stamp right there. And it's a little bit brighter than your average normal. Let me just stop this guy from getting away. There could be blade in here with all the banding along the back, but I'll definitely be able to tell within a couple more sheds and when the snake is a little bit bigger. And let's just see if this is a male or a female really quickly. It is a female, so this will probably be a hold back. I'm gonna set this one aside and move on to this one right over here. Remember once again the pairing was an Orange Dream Fire Butter Ultramel to a Blade Clown and right here it looks like we have an Orange Dream Blade Double Head Ultramel Clown. Of course right there we have that nice Orange Dream head stamp. It's really blushed out and the snake is just really orange especially compared to the fire over here. It seems like all the snakes are just trying to get out of the tub. But you can see it has a lot more orange tones and this is already brighter than a normal ball python. So pretty easy to pick up the orange dreams and orange dream also does connect a lot of the pattern towards the tail and that's exactly what we're seeing here and it also tends to give you those hep high tracks in the belly so all those signs are here and we do have a lot of banding going over the back as you guys can see and that's definitely from the blade so really cool let's just make sure that this is a male or a female hoping it's a female i'd really like to hold this back and it's a male, so this guy will probably be for sale. Probably put him up on Morph Market in the next couple of weeks. But a really cool Orange Dream Blade Double Head Ultra Male Clown. And now we'll get into these two butter combos over here. I'll actually start with this one first. So this is a Butter Orange Dream 100% Double Head Ultra Male Clown. You can see the butter because of the color and the pattern. But then the Orange Dream is cleaning up the pattern a lot. It's bringing in all these really nice clean patches you're seeing here. It also drags some of the pattern together at the tail. We're not getting too much Hep Pied markers on the belly because Lesser and Butter do take away the belly pattern. But definitely really easy to tell. And if we look at the head right here, just see if this girl or guy would let his head out. You can see that nice Orange Dream head stamp right there making it really blushed out. This is a really cool looking snake and fingers crossed that it's going to be a female and yep looks like a female so really cool it's definitely going to be a holdback orange dream butter double head ultra male clown female and let's get into this very last snake over here so it looks like we have another butter combo and i'm going to say this is a butter orange dream fire Adding fire would make it really similar to the last combo, but just making it a little bit more pale. If we compare the two, you can see this one's definitely a little bit more pale than this one. We still have all the cleanliness the Orange Dream is bringing in, as well as the dragged pattern along the sides. It's not as drastic as the other one, but we're definitely still getting that dragged pattern. 
A lot of times when you have orange dream and fire inside of butter together, you'll get this chaining of the neck pattern, just like right over here. If you guys remember the dad from the beginning, he has it as well. So really cool. I believe this is an orange dream fire butter double head ultramo clown. And fingers crossed that this could be a female too. And it looks like we got another female. So really cool. We have at least two orange dream butter double head ultramo clowns. And I'm 99% sure this one has the fire. A really cool clutch. We're lucky enough to get three females out of it and the one male. I do have a really cool Ultramel Het Clown mail, so I'm not going to be needing to hold this guy back. And I'm even looking to get an Ultramel Clown in the future. Preferably a male, but if there's only females available, I'm definitely going to scoop one up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be posting one tomorrow because I did not post one on Monday this week. I was away and I wasn't able to. So I'm definitely going to get three videos out to you at least. Stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.